flushing the air conditioning system is necessary to ensure proper repairs and avoid expensive consequential damage. Maintenance work on air conditioning systems may only be carried out by certified and trained technicians. The appropriate safety instructions and manufacturer specifications must be observed. To check the function of the air conditioning system, attach the AC service unit and perform a function test. Check the quantity of refrigerant in the system. To do this, connect high pressure and low pressure sides and open the couplings on the service hoses. If the compress is damaged, as in this example, it must be replaced. Depending on the cause of the damage, the refrigerant circuit may need to be flushed. However, the remaining refrigerant must be drawn off beforehand. First remove any necessary attachments, such as the push rod and engine cover. Check other components for damage, such as the condenser. If it is leaking, it must not be flushed. In this case, you will need to bypass it. Caution! Although the refrigerant has been drawn off, the pressure can still rise due to refrigerant dissolved in the compressor oil. Therefore, depressurize the system again before opening. Loosen the drive belt and remove all electrical and other connections, then remove the defective compressor. Drain the oil from the defective compressor and check for contaminants. Cloudy or dark oil or metallic abrasion or water in the oil give a clear indication of the cause of the compressor failure. For these damage scenarios, flushing is unavoidable. To flush the refrigerant circuit, the throttle or expansion valve must be removed and bypassed with a special adapter. The dryer or accumulator also needs to be removed and bypassed. This component captures dirt and moisture, so it must not be flushed. To completely remove the contamination from the system, the dryer or accumulator as well as the throttle or expansion valve must be replaced. Connect the appropriate flushing adapter to the high and low pressure lines of the vehicle. Connect the connecting hose of the flushing kit to the vehicle's high pressure line. It can be recognized by a smaller diameter. Connect the red service hose on the air conditioner to the vehicle's low pressure line. It can be recognized by its larger diameter. Now connect the blue service hose to the filter of the outlet of the flushing kit. Now start the flushing process. Follow the manufacturer's specifications. The number and duration of the individual flushing cycles must also be observed. Progress can be observed in the side class of the flushing kit after each cleaning cycle. At the end, there must be no more visible contamination. All contaminants have been captured by the filter in the flushing kit. The filter must therefore be replaced regularly. Remove all adapters and connections after flushing is successfully completed. Now install the new throttle or new expansion valve. It is important that all seals be coated with the appropriate compressor oil. If other connections have been opened, then their seals must be replaced to prevent leaks. Now replace the dryer or accumulator and, if necessary, the condenser as well. Do not remove the protective caps on the dryer until immediately before installation. This prevents ambient moisture from entering the dryer. Install the new compressor. Restore all electrical and other connections and install the drive belt.
before filling the system. It must be bled again according to regulations. This step is very important to draw off remaining air and moisture from the system and to produce a vacuum. Next, test the leak tightness of the air conditioning system. Filling is done only if the result is positive. Observe the amount and type of refrigerant prescribed by the vehicle's manufacturer and add the refrigerant oil of the flushed and replaced components. After filling, carry out a performance and functional test of the air conditioning system. Important! Before initial starting the compressor, the regulations for initial operation must be observed. For more details, see our website and our how-to videos. Finally, disconnect the service hoses and install all parts that were removed. These are the 10 most important steps.